Hey, I'm Miranda with REI, and today we're going to talk about how to choose quick draws. So let's just really quickly touch on the anatomy of a quick draw. So there are three components to a quick draw. You have the carabiner on the end that goes into the hanger, and then you have your webbing or your dog bone. And then you'll have a carabiner on the other end, which is where you will clip your rope. Most people will purchase draws in rack packs, so multiple different draws that are already assembled, uh, but you can also just purchase these components separately if you decide that you want to assemble your own draws. One important thing to note is that you always want to keep your draws or your carabiners separate in terms of the ones that get clipped into the hanger and the one that you clip the rope into. If you start interchanging these, uh, the ones that are clipped into the hanger, the gear can get a little bit dinged up, which in turn, if you were then to run the rope through, could cause you to shred the sheath of your rope. So it's just important to make sure that you designate carabiners as hangers and as the rope side. So there are three main different types of carabiners that you might come across in draws. The first are straight gate carabiners like this one, bent gate carabiners like this one, and wire gate carabiners like this guy or this one. So straight gate carabiners are often found on the side that gets clipped into the hanger whereas the bent gate carabiners are gonna be on, if they have them on the draws, will be on the side where you clip your rope. And the benefit of this is that the curve just makes it a little bit easier to clip the rope in. Wire gate carabiners are great because they're a lot lighter, and this will add up if you're carrying a lot of draws for a really long pitch. And another benefit of the wire gate is that they will actually reduce gate flutter. What this means is that they're just less likely to come unclipped during a fall. This isn't something you should base your entire decision of quick draws on. It's just something to be aware of. There are two types of wire gate carabiners that you might come across. Standard wire gate carabiners like this one and key lock carabiners, so key lock style carabiners like this one for the wire gates. Standard wire gate has a small hook on the nose, which uh, you can have gear get caught on that. And so the key lock style with the hood wire on the nose will just make it less likely for gear to get caught. So this one is one of those key lock styles, and so is this carabiner here. Again, you can see just less likely for gear to get caught. Once you've decided what carabiners you want for your quick draws, the next thing to consider is the webbing or the dog bone. So on the dog bone that connects your two carabiners on your quick draw, you'll have two different main parts. The first is the looser end where the carabiner moves, and then the other has this rubber stabilizer piece that makes this a little bit stiffer. This is not a safety piece. This just makes it easier for you to clip the rope as you're climbing. And if you ever are assembling your own quick draws, you just want to be very sure that the carabiner is running through the webbing as well as through that rubber stabilizer and not just through the rubber stabilizer. There are two different materials that you'll find commonly in dog bones for quick draws. The first is Dyneema, like this guy here. And the second is nylon, like this one here. Nylon is bulkier, but it's also less expensive than Dyneema, and it's a great choice for just cragging or single pitch climbing, or if you're prioritizing low cost. Uh, if you're hiking in not very far to a place where you're climbing, then these are a good option. Dyneema is a little bit more abrasion resistant than nylon, and it's also a lot lighter, uh, and it's um, a little bit more expensive than nylon. These are really great for alpine climbing or long pitches or any time where you know that you're gonna be carrying a large rack a long distance. So once you've decided what material you want for the dog bone on your draws, the next decision you wanna make is the length of the draws. Short draws like these are great for pretty straight, short routes uh, because you'll just have the rope running straight up the climb, so you're not gonna have a ton of rope drag with shorter draws like these. If you have a route that tends to meander a little bit and the bolting is a little bit wandering, then you might want slightly longer draws. So these draws will come in versions up to about 18 centimeter dog bones, and those, again, really good for routes that meander a little bit more. If you have something that really starts to go off route a little bit, you might wanna consider using an alpine draw. So an alpine draw like this one is just two carabiners that are connected by a sling. And then this sling can be extended like that. And this extended sling, again, will just help limit the rope drag if you have a route that starts to meander a lot more. And then once you've decided what type of carabiners you want, what type of material you want for the dog bone and the length, the next decision to make is how many draws you need to carry with you. If you're doing a lot of single pitch climbing, 12 quick draws will pretty much get you up most routes. 
You can find out how many draws you need to carry with you by taking a look at Mountain Project or looking into a guidebook so you know how many bolts you have on a route. It's a good idea to carry that many draws on your harness as well as a couple extra just in case one falls or there's a new bolt that you didn't know about. That's it for how to choose quick draws. Please check out our other climbing content and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. See you later.